guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 i hope you all had a great weekend so we are going to do an energy check-in today as we start this new week to see what's happening with the divine masculines and the divine feminines and today we're bringing in the tarot of the celtic fairies which i haven't used for a while so thank you angels what is going on what's the energy of the divine masculines as we start this new week what is the energy of the divine masculines as we start this new week thank you angels okay and then what's the energy of the divine feminines thank you angels as we start this new week what is the energy of the divine feminines okay and then we're also bringing in some messages from your divine masculine divine masculine 101 what is the divine masculine wanting to say to the divine feminine today thank you angels okay and then we are also going to bring in some messages from your angels angel whispers to start off with thank you angels what messages are coming through for everyone as we start this new week and then also angel wishes what angel wishes are coming through for everyone thank you angels what angel wishes are coming through for everyone right okay so let's see the cards that have come out here uh starting with the divine masculine so the first card that we've got here for the divine masculine so we've got here the eight of stones the eight of stones is the eight of pentacles and you know as you can see there that's about your divine masculine working hard so i feel that they're working hard in whatever it is that they're doing you know and there's so much green i'm really being guided to all that green that is around them you know and the fact that they that was wearing green as well green is the color of healing so what i'm really getting with this card is that they're going through healing right now you know and they're working hard on themselves you know working hard when it comes to you know healing when it comes to things of the past for themselves healing their life you know healing things that they need to heal you know working on forgiving themselves as well we healing their or their selves you know about things that have happened in the past releasing the the guilt the shame you know they're going through healing right now and they're working hard on that they may be working hard on other things in their own life as well you know things that they are doing maybe in their job but i really feel this is more to do with them and healing happening for them to help them to be able to move forward and they are working hard on these things they can be working hard on getting to know who they truly are you know things that are to do with healing with releasing things of the past things are there that are there to help them to be able to move forward the next card that we've got as well we've got here the ace of swords and this is the card of making decisions so i feel that during this time where they're healing it's like they're opening up awakening to who they are they're making decisions as well you know as they start to you know sort of heal their past and release things of the past forgive the past that helps them to make decisions that are there to help them to move forward when it comes to their life so i feel that these are decisions about changing things in their life as well because you know when you start healing yourself when you start loving yourself you know you start to make decisions that are according to all those changes that you're making when you're healing your own life so they are making certain decisions that are there to help them to move forward Forward as well in their life the next card that we've got is the temperance card so that's the card of patience so i feel that you know they're learning to be patient with themselves you know to be patient as they go through healing you can't rush that healing you know these things take time and they are learning as well to be patient with themselves as they go through this healing you know to be patient with things that they need to work through for themselves you know to realize that they can't just sort of rush through it you know sometimes they may feel like they've done this healing and then certain things come up and they have to revisit so there's it takes time so they're learning patience as well during this time of healing and i feel that that's also part of their own lessons you know to learn to be patient to not try and rush things so they are being patient but i also feel it's a message for you the divine feminine from your divine masculine to be patient with them whilst they go through their healing because it does take time so that's the message that's also come through here we also have the tower card that has also come out so this is a powerful card to come out you know and this is showing you that they are going through it does say tower card it does say tower they are going through 
things happening in their life right now chaos upheaval you know during this time and i feel that there may be certain things that are happening that you know chaos and upheaval that's leading them to get to this place of starting to heal their life to realize that certain things haven't worked out they need to change the way that they've lived their life all this time so there's chaos and upheaval that's happening and there may be healing even from things that have happened in their life you know they could have something happened physically or it could be something that's happened where uh, something that they were in a job they've lost their job that's chaos and upheaval or a relationship that they've been in a marriage is falling apart and they're healing from all that so you know these are things that you have to go through emotionally and heal those things as well so there's chaos and upheaval happening in their life to help them to go through healing, to move forward as well to where they're truly meant to be. And I feel they're making decisions as well that are there to help them to be able to move forward. The next card that we've got is the King of Swords. And, you know, the King of Swords is the king who can come across as, you know, sort of quite cold, not, you know, doing their own thing. But as you can see from these cards, you know, they may come across as quite cold to you as they just focus on whatever they're doing. But they are going through quite a lot. There's a lot of healing that's happening, chaos and upheaval, you know, all divine masculines on different parts of their journey. But there's a lot that they're dealing with in their own life. You know, that's why you got the temperance card coming from them as well to be patient with them. They're dealing with a lot going on in their life. And as you can see, you know, you can see sort of like the divine masculine at the top of that hill or mountain there, you know, kind of kneeling. It's like a prayer, you know, a prayer asking for help. I'm really getting as well, or they may be in their mind, you know, with all the chaos and upheaval that's happening, you know, everything is just a bit too much for them, you know, so they're going through certain things in their life. So they can come across as cold and, you know, focused on their own life and they are not communicating with you and all these things. They may be in their mind a lot as well. The King of Swords can be in their mind a lot because they're thinking about all these things, you know, decisions that they need to make, but it's because there's a lot going on in their life. That's the main energy that's really coming through for the Divine Masculines right now. And they're working through healing those things that are going on in their life as well. The last card that has come out is the Page of Cauldrons. That's the Page of Cups. And this is about, you know, wanting to move forward to tell you of the love that they have for you. This is about love messages. So I feel that despite all these things that are going on in their life you know they are they know that they have that cup of love for you and they are wanting to communicate to tell you how they truly feel but i feel that this is kind of on hold for now that's the energy that's really coming through you know they're kind of holding on to moving forward to give you that message of the love that they have for you because they're still dealing with certain things they they're having to be patient even with themselves as they go through healing as they go through changes in their life you know so they are not quite they are wanting to communicate you know they're wanting to move forward to give you that love message or in whatever way that may be but they are having to be patient with that right now you know having to focus on the things that they're dealing with in their own life but at the right time they will move forward when they're ready you know when they've gone through the healing and releasing things that they need to release they will move forward and tell you of the love that they have for you because they have that message is there, but they're still dealing with certain things in their own life right now. So those are the messages that are really coming through for the divine masculines. And then for you, the divine feminine, so powerful cards coming through for you. So first of all, we've got the magician. So you, this is about you being in your power. You are the magician of your life. You're creating your life. And, you know, and we've had the full new moon as well. That's all about, you know, setting intentions and bringing in, creating the things that you desire. So you are in a place of power. You're realizing that, you know, the power is within you to create the life that you desire. So stay focused on your inner power is the message coming through. Stay focused on your inner power, on staying positive, on trusting in the universe to bring you in your desires. But you know that you have the power to create the life that you desire so powerful cards coming through the next card that we've got we've got the sun and this is the card of happiness and feeling good in yourself 
And I feel that as we start this new week, you are in that energy of feeling good. You know, you are in this place of feeling the power that you have within, knowing that you are creating the life that you desire and you're feeling happy and good in yourself as well, more in your power moving forward. And you're being shown here that there is even more happiness coming in for you. Things moving forward to bring in your desires. You attracting the things that you truly desire. You know, your divine masculine will move forward towards you at the right time and that's going to bring even enhance that will enhance the happiness that you already have so you know you are i feel that as we start this new week you are in a good place within yourself and obviously not all divine feminines will be feeling that take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if you're not there it's about working through whatever is stopping you from being in the place of feeling that happiness within yourself because it all starts from within but this is really more about you being in your power. We also have the Ace of Stones. This is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about success coming in. So, you know, you may be feeling good in yourself, success coming in for you in the things that you're working on in your in your life as well. But you're also being shown that success is coming in when it comes to this love, when it comes to other areas of your life. It is all coming in for you. You know, happiness coming in as well with that Sun card. So these are really good good cards for you the divine feminine i really feel that the more you are in your power that is bringing in success in all the things that you desire as well and trusting in the universe the last card that has come out is the queen of cauldrons that's the queen of cups and I feel that, you know, you're being shown here, this is you, the Queen of Cups, you are that beautiful, divine, feminine, sensitive, you know, focus on the things that you're working on as well. And, you know, and you are, you know, I feel that, you know, the things to do with maybe your mission, helping others, you know, operating from the heart, and that's helping you to move forward on your path. But you're also being shown here that your divine masculine admires you. They adore you. You know, they may be checking you out from afar because right now they're focused on things that they are doing in their own life, but they totally adore you. And, you know, and they are, I really feel that they may be checking you out, even if it seems to you that they are just focused on the things that they're doing in their own life, the things that they, you know, whatever's going on in their life, you know, behind the scenes somehow, you know, whether it's on social media, check energetically, uh, you know, however they may be doing it online, maybe they are checking you out. They want to feel close to you and they adore you. They love everything about you because, you know, even if those things are going on in their life, they are still holding on to that love that they have for you and they want to move forward to communicate, to tell you how they feel. So I feel that, you know, they are admiring you as their divine feminine, even if they may be doing it from afar. That's the energy that's really coming through here. So continue to keep being in your joy and happiness, shining your light, being in your power because your divine masculine absolutely loves that. And they are wanting to be a part of that life with you and they're working towards this. And at the right time, as they release the things that they need to release and they heal the things that they need to heal, they will move forward to tell you how they feel. Okay, and the messages that are coming through for you as well from your Divine Masculine. So let's do that one first. So your Divine Masculine, they are saying to you here. So first of all, they're saying there is still so much to say. So they're letting you know that they have so much that they're wanting to say. They may be admiring you from afar, but they have so much and they know that they have so much that they're wanting to say to you. So at the right time, they will move forward, give you, you know, we had the page of cups with them. That's about giving you that love message and telling you the things that they're wanting to say to you. There's still so much for them to say to you. They are also saying to you here, I get so mad at myself about how I treat you. So, you know, that may be what is also causing them a lot of pain. You know, maybe it's the way they're thinking about the way that they've treated you or if they've said something recently or even if it was a while ago, you know, they get mad at themselves about that. So this could be what is also on their mind, things that they're thinking about. So they are saying to you, they get mad at themselves about that because they do know how much they have all this love for you. They are also saying to you, you are so right for me. 
So they're saying divine feminine. I know I've acted in all these crazy ways, but you are so right for me. You're the one that I truly want to be with. You're the one that I admire and adore. You know, you are so right for me. So they're wanting you to know this as well. They're also saying to you, don't pay attention to my moods. So during this time, you know, maybe you may be in communication and then sometimes they go quiet because they're dealing with certain things in their life. And they're saying to you, don't pay attention to my moods. Or even if they're just being quiet for some time that's sort of them being in their mood and you know they're just saying to you don't pay attention to my mood i'm trying to sort things out in my own life they're also saying to you i am trying to understand so you know they are trying to understand things that are going on in their own life they're trying to understand who they truly are they're trying to understand what is happening you know for them as they go through transformation and awakening and change so they are trying to understand as well trying to understand this connection that the two of you have they're trying to understand there's also, do I really make you happy? So, you know, sometimes this may be something that they wonder about. Do I really make you happy? You know, they may think about the things that have happened in the past, the way they treated you, the way they spoke to you. And, you know, it's a fear that comes up for them. Do I really make you happy? They wonder about that. You know, it can be a fear. Or it can just be, you know, the ego bringing in that sort of energy of do I really make my divine feminine happy? So these are things that they're also working through releasing. So to know that, you know, they truly make you happy because they do. And the last one, I think about touching you. So they are thinking about you. They miss you during this time that they may be they focused on certain things in their own life. You know, even if they're going through tower moments in their own life, they think about you, they miss you, and they think about touching you. Okay, and then messages coming through for you from the angels. So we've got angel whispers and angel wishes. So first message is take time out for yourself. So I feel that this can is also a message for your divine masculine during this time to be there for themselves, to connect with who they truly are. You know, to find who they truly are, you know, to, to take time for themselves as they go through chaos and upheaval in their life to go through the emotions and everything as well. But this is also a message for you. Take time out for yourself where you need it, you know, where you may just need to be by yourself, you know, some solitude time to, you know, connect with yourself or always make sure that you take time out for yourself. Your children are the greatest gift of all. They teach you more than you teach them. So this will be a message for those who have children, you know, that you are learning so much from your children. You know, whatever you may be going through with your children right now, they are also your, your big teachers. So that's the message that, that's coming through. They teach you more than you teach them. And then the next message is, don't listen to others as the messages you are receiving are correct. So maybe you are wondering about you know certain things and you're asking other people you're being asked to come back to yourself remember you have all the power within you have all the answers within so you know you know your truth listen to your own truth don't listen to others if the messages that you're receiving are correct maybe others are telling you to let go of this journey i was in you know don't uh, you know they don't understand the twin flame journey and you know and you're getting the messages you know your truth about this love and you're being asked to not listen to others the messages you're receiving are correct it can be about anything maybe something else that you're asking people about you're being asked to listen to those messages coming from within because they are correct don't just think about it do it so maybe there's something that you're thinking about should i do this you know oh it would be great if i did this the angels are saying to you don't just think about it do it so you're being guided to do whatever it is that is for you you are full of love now share it with another so you're being reminded you are full of love you are love itself and it's about you sharing that love share it with another share it with your divine masculine share it with other people you know it's about sharing that love you know it can be about you just smiling at someone helping someone you know on the street or in the shop whatever you know share it, that love with another and then the last two cards that have come out what seems impossible is possible believe so you're being asked to believe even if your journey seems impossible 
you know maybe it's been going on for a long time and it doesn't seem like anything is happening or your divine masculine it says it's never gonna happen whatever it is that's going on what seems impossible is possible believe you have to believe with god everything is possible and believe in miracles so you know believe in miracles because miracles do happen with the creator what seems impossible is possible believe believe in miracles and you will see those miracles happen in your life i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light